first round of the playoffs. And home ice on the line as we head down the stretch. We're underway from downtown St. Paul. Sends it to the corner. Fowler's on it. Back in the middle for Jones. Taken away. And the Wild have numbers at center. Fiala has Johansson with him. Jones trying to catch up with the play. Fiala in. And Miller deflects it wide. Ryan Miller, though. Fiala fights off that back check. Brings it to the forehand. Miller able to get the blocker. Lundestrom chased by Erickson Eck. Tenacious pressure by Erickson Eck. Got the loose puck across. Zuccarello down low to Greenway. A shot and a save by Miller. What an effort by Erickson Eck along the wall. But Eck just one-handed, wins the battle, gets that stick in good position. Then out muscles Lundestrom, gets this puck. A nice little area pass to the front. Zuccarello makes the play, but Gordon Greenway had a tough angle, just defensive plays. And, uh, He's, he's firing on, like I said, all cylinders. Manson plays it across. Mahura with a long shot, and he scores. Sounded like it was tipped on the way. And the Ducks have the game's first goal just over 12 minutes in. It's a quick D to D pass. They get to the middle of the ice. You see they're unmarked again, not looking for sticks, but that's, uh, I think that's Raquel who comes through and gets that one. Might be reviewed for a high stick, but coming from behind the net, and that is something that should be pre-scouted. You check it, you, you know there's going to be pressure, so you've got to make some quick plays on the half wall. Kaprizov carries in. Back to Fiala. Drive and a glove save by Miller. Drops it for him, and Fiala gets all of this one, but it just finds Miller's glove. I'm not sure if he made the save or, or it found his glove, but nonetheless, he keeps it out. Zuccarello. Down low, Johansson out front, Hartman a one-timer and a save by Miller. Rebound to the corner, picked up by Bonino. Half a minute left as Fiala comes to center. Got it to Kaprizov, Kaprizov centers, they score! Jared Spurgeon off the feet from Kaprizov. A power play goal ties it 1-1. One, one. on one shorthanded for the Ducks. This turns into a three on two, but just so patient with that puck. The look off of Manson, who just gets frozen in front of the net. Thinking back door, waiting, waiting, waiting. Spurgeon as the second wave with just a simple little tap in. Manson caught in no man's land trying to protect that back door, and it's a wide open net. I think about what makes him special. And you think about some of the special goal scorers in this league, and they kind of have a marquee goal. You've, you've got Ovechkin, who Gets all his points on the power play right there in that spot. Drysdale sends it around the boards. Jones couldn't get it by Brodeen. Fiala cuts to the middle of backhander and a save by Miller. Fiala with another chance at the horn. He just takes it through the slide. He's got a look on the backhand. All right, Miller forced to make a save, but. Um, we talked about turnovers plagued the Wilds first period last night. Much cleaner for them in that regard. And they took advantage of the power play. And that, and that really turned things around for him. Suter there to pick it up for Minnesota. Off the wall to Erickson Eck. He deflects it ahead to Felino. Jumps around Manson. Felino in. Saved by Miller. Felino with the good play in the neutral zone. Good stick. Watch this. Right past the Ducks defender. In alone. Pavelski, a seventh round pick that year. Still having a great year in Dallas. And I think if you, if you look at it. Greenway hits the post there. Jets left. Tried to go back to Delorier. Zuccarello has it. Cross ice to Kaprizov. He has Hartman with him. Kaprizov in. Hartman scores! What a play by <laughs> Kaprizov. And Hartman taps it into the empty net. Zuccarello with a great outlet pass. Springs Kaprizov. And then Hartman jumps on his horse and pulled his feet. Again, it's the no look, it's the setup and the pace of the pass, just a little float, not too heavy, not too soft, just enough to get it. Heads never looking at the puck, always looking up. No answer for Benoit, just trying everything he can to do it. Man, he was on the first line, the power play, wasn't quite sure of his fit. Eventually, he took some time, found his niche, and, and boy, he's really blossomed. Sturm to Bonino, he scores! for Minnesota, it's 3-1 wild. This fourth line has been fantastic. Very similar goal to how this fourth line scored last night, except the roles are reversed. This time it's Nico Sturm carrying the puck around on his backhand. 
looking for a streaking Nick Bonino. Susi throws it across. Zagras in. Fire scores. Trevor Zegras beats Cam Talbot. And the Ducks cut the lead to 3 2. But here he comes. Just in on an angle, kind of a look off. Throws Ian Cole in the middle of the ice just a little bit. And he loads it up. Quick little release. And confidently twirls the stick and tucks it away. Enough of this puck to send it 200 feet. Zegras, and what a save by Talbot. He slides across and gets the pad on that one. Cam Talbot makes a big save on Zegras. Suter takes it away in the corner. Comtois tied up by Rask. Fowler holds his own. Terry. And they score! Comtois beats Talbot! And ties the game with 25 and a half seconds to play. Hazard play, just a little chip instead of trying to bury that one in the empty net. Ducks go down the other side and Comtois give him credit. He finds some open ice, quick little play. He snipes this one off the feed from Raquel. Not much room up there over Talbot's shoulder, but he finds it inside the game late. Greenway plays it into the Ducks zone. And we get yet another overtime. We talked about it last night. He does his thing his way. And he's done it 54 times this year. So here we go. Three on three hockey. Chris crosses with Fiala. Now in the skates of Fiala. Zegras disrupts. Brodeen back pedals away. And Comtois has it. He has Zegras with him into the Minnesota zone. Back to the trailing Drysdale and a kick saved by Talbot. Zuccarello protects the puck along the boards. Pressured by Terry. They both go down. And Dumba will easily get to this puck before Terry. Long lead pass. Finds Rask. Rask in. Fire scores! He had a chance to seal it into the empty net. He just wanted the drama of the overtime winner. And Minnesota will finish the season with the best home record in franchise history. Goes out with an OTL instead of a loss, but good finish, good play. Stretch pass through the neutral zone. He comes in, a little look off. And he does have a sneaky little wrist shot. We've seen this earlier in the year. He can fool goaltenders, gets it off quick. Beats Miller to that low blocker side. And wow. Improved to 21-5-2. The XL Energy Center.